My name is Willem Lachance. Growing up, I never looked like anyone in my family on either side. People often joked that I was adopted or a switched baby in the hospital. But now that I'm growing a little bit older, I'm starting to look different. I've been told that I'm starting to look like my late grandfather, Richard Lachance. I personally don't see it, but that got me thinking. I don't really know a lot about Richard. I know that he was a father of four, a husband to one, and he partied as hard as he worked. That is, until he got sick. He had diabetes, and his liver started failing. He lost one leg, then two, then eventually his life. He died when I was eight years old. From what I heard, he was an alcoholic for a lot of his younger life. And when he had kids, he was emotionally and physically absent. So from what I knew about him, should I be proud to resemble him? I don't know. There had to be more to this, more to him. I decided to do what I could to find out. I decided to try and meet Richard. I sat down with my family to try and get a better picture of who Richard was. My name is Bert Lachance. Uh, my name is Todd Lachance. My name is Lisa Muriel Marie Lachance Goddard. My name is Lauren Lachance. I'm Debbie Lachance. I am, or was, his wife. I am Richard's eldest son. I'm more, um, <laughs> Richard Lachance's daughter. Richard was my dad. I am Richard's youngest daughter. During my conversations with my family, they had a lot of great stories about Richard that really gave me a good idea as to who he was. I remember my first sip of hot black tea as a uh, eight-year-old boy wanting to get warm in the morning after a camp over and he ensured me that it would warm me up and make me feel better as I was shivering so he showed compassion and love at that time and then every time I take a drink of black tea I, I think of him and it's soothing. The favorite story I heard was he was out fishing and they ran the battery down on the truck somehow, leaving the lights on, whatever it was. He took his chainsaw out of the back of the truck, took it apart and linked the chain to either the starter motor or to the alternator and figure out a way to recharge the battery or get the truck started using the chainsaw motor. It showed, I guess, the depths of his stupidity and the depths of his creativity and how he had that ability to overcome all kinds of problems. He certainly did it his own way. After they described the good memories, they got into the more emotional experiences. If I was really going to meet Richard, they thought I should know all the details. We had our, our good times, but we also had our bad times. We were kind of like, he, he knew that we loved him, so I guess we were taking it for granted a little bit. There was no consistency to his life either, so one minute he's playing the guitar and singing along, and the next very next day he's, he's gone. He's in his own little world somewhere else. You know, when there was problems, we always got back together again and tried to work things out. So I think uh, there was a lot of absenteeism for us emotionally and as a guide uh, into life. So, Like, I loved him dearly. I know he loved me. He just had a hard time showing it. He himself told me that his mother never hugged him or said, I love you. So he thought nobody else could love him. Now, wow, that was like, he was born in 43. And still, like in 1953, a mom never hugging you and loving you. And, and oh my goodness. He wasn't very confident in himself and his abilities because I think his self-esteem was never nurtured. So he was always wandering and trying to try to do different things to impress people and maybe even prove to other people that he was, he was valuable, that he was something. Not a ideal upbringing. He, he was maybe forced to mature too early or something. I don't know, but I don't think he felt he was really worth a lot of the love and admiration he got. So he tried to like, puff his chest up even more and kind of, oh no, I am, and kind of fake it a little bit more because he felt insecure. But I just think of the good things like that he taught me that overwhelmed me. He showed us what not to do and, and sometimes what to do. So it's like a 50-50 split. You, you can trust your instincts. You can be who you can be. And he did set a great example for what to strive to be. Taught me to be very logical, to think logically. He would always ask questions, you know, who, what, why, where, when. It almost created like a moral compass for me that I continue to use to this day. Those hard lessons, the backwards ones that he taught us the wrong way, they're worth it. He definitely didn't put up with a lot, saw things in black and white. And maybe one thing that he never really embraced well enough was that there's also a huge gray area. Basically, there is right and there is wrong, and stay true to convictions. He taught me uh, that there is value in family, even though he struggled with it his whole life. He believed that I think in his heart and he tried the best he could, even though he failed at it. He felt it, didn't know how to do it, but he felt it. Uh, but he also gave me some tenacity and some, some fighter spirit, I think. But he did, he did inspire us and he did uh, entertain us at times as well. So a big person in a complex show. Hey, she's a
From what I learned today, I know that Richard wasn't a bad person. He was confused, overwhelmed, and he struggled with his demons. He didn't know how to properly show love to those around him because he was never shown how to do that by the people who were supposed to love him. He was insecure and he hid behind the bottle in an overbearing personality. All he wanted was to be liked, and if he couldn't get that instant gratification from his family, he would look elsewhere. It only all started to make sense once he got sick, and by that point, unfortunately, it was too late. You know, I heard a quote recently, and it's basically saying, you die two deaths, once when you stop breathing, and again, when someone says your name for the last time. And I hope with this, I can keep Richard alive for maybe just a little bit longer. And you know, I never really got to know him, but in a strange, weird way, I really feel like I met him today. <laughs>